اعوذ باللہ من الشیطان الرجیم بسم اللہ الرحمن الرحیم Linear regression. Now what will you learn? For a linear relationship, I use the least squares regression line to model the pattern in the data and to make predictions. So we will use a regression analysis in order to predict a certain outcome based on certain predictors. Now previously, we have used scatterplot to describe the relationship between two quantitative variables. We describe the pattern in the data by describing the direction, form and strength of relationship. Following the scatterplot, we looked into correlation analysis as well and that explained how to ass assess the strength of relationship between variables. Now, this was achieved by correlation coefficient that actually guided us on how to measure the direction and strength of linear relationship. So linear regression, when do we use it? Linear regression is a statistical method used to predict the value of the dependent variable based on the values of the independent variables. Now here are some of the examples when linear regression might be utilized. Now we want to predict the price of a house based on its size, number of bedrooms and location. So we can predict the price of the house based on these three predictors. And to do so, we can use linear regression. We can predict sales revenue based on marketing expenditure, competitor activity and economic indicators. Obviously for this we need previous data. For example, I want to predict the sales for 2023. So I need data for 2022, 2021, 2020 and previous maybe 10, 15, 20 years in order to predict my data or my sales for this particular year. Now estimating the probability of default on a loan based on the characteristics of the borrower. And those characteristics include credit score, annual income, debt to income ratio. And you can determine the relationship between student test scores and the number of hours they spend studying. And finally, another example could be, well, let's say I've collected data through a survey and I've asked people questions about their student satisfaction, how responsible their university is, how good the service is, how good the leadership is. And then based on that, I can predict the student satisfaction using the scores of university social responsibility, service quality and university leadership. Now these are the previous scatter plots that we have done and they were this one, the top one and the bottom one. These were done in R. So how do we make the predictions? Now earlier we examined the linear relationship between vision and performance. Suppose we want to predict organizational performance based on how well the vision is communicated within the organization. How could we make a prediction using the linear pattern in the data? Here again the scatter plot of vision and organizational performance. Now here they are. Our first step is to model the pattern in the data with a line. Now look at this. This is the line. Now if you look here, as you increase the score of vision, the score for organizational performance tends to increase. So if you look at these data points here, these are high organizational performance points. And at the same time, you've got high vision score here as well. To use this line to make prediction, we find the point on the line with an X value of 6. Where is X value of 6? Here it is. Simply trace from 6 directly up the line. Let's go up the line. The majority of the points are around this line here. Now look at these points here, these lines, these points here, these points here. They are around here, this, this, this line here. And these are higher organizational performance at high vision. So when you increase the vision score, your organizational performance tends to increase. Now here is the basic idea. 
The closer the line is to all the data points, the better the line summarizes the pattern in the data. Notice when the line is close to the data points, it gives better predictions. A good prediction means the predicted Y value from the line is close to the actual Y value for the data point. Now here, your data points are more or less very close to this line. And most of the time we can see that when the score of vision is increasing, there is a higher score for OP. So vision can be referred to as a good predictor for organizational performance. Now we are going to run our regression analysis in R. In order to run the linear regression in R, we will need this library of stats. Now this is included in the base package. So you do not need to install it if it's installed. So let's run it. And now it's loaded. Now the second step, prepare your data. So again, I've got my data in the CSV file and it is in the same folder as my R script. So I'm not going to give the full path. The header is there and the separator is comma. Once you load this file or read this file, this has to be stored in an object. And in this case, the object name is data S. Run it. Now, just to be sure that it is loaded correctly, just run it. Yep, all good. I've got my composite variables here. Now you need the linear model function, LM function. Now to do run it or to use it, LM linear model, parenthesis open. Now you write your response DV or effect variable and then the sign here. Now tilde and then your predictor IV or cause and then mention your data. So here again, linear model, parenthesis open, OP is my dependent variable, tilde, vision is my independent variable, comma, and where is my data? Here is my data that I loaded in the data as object. And all of this function, when it runs, the results are stored in this model object. Now, in this case, I've got just one DV, one IV. And let's run it. Now the model is done. Now I can retrieve or extract the results of the model using summary function. So you call in summary function. Where are my results for regression? They are in the model object. Parenthesis closed. And now the results are stored in this object. So let's run it and see my results. Now here are my results. Now these are the residuals and the coefficients. Now, is there a significant impact of vision on OP? Well, yes, it is because the T value is greater than 1.96 and the P value is significant, significant at point at less than 0 0.001 level. The three stars here mean 0 0.000. And this is your residual error. Now, where is your R square? Here is your R square. And what does this mean? If you multiply it with 100, this would mean that 38.34% change, change in what? Your dependent variable, organizational performance, is being accounted by your independent variable in the model, vision. And your F statistics, this is the residual and this is the P value for F statistics. Now you can convert it into the different format. Just copy it and you can put it in Excel and there you can convert it as well. Let's open Excel. Simply paste it here. And now right click, format cells number let's go to three decimal points so now your value is converted into decimal points now it is 0 0.000 up until three decimal points so this is how you can use the results from r and convert them into proper decimal points as well now let's say i've got more than one independent variable so in order to run multiple regression in R, I'm just going to use the same way. Linear model, parenthesis open, my dependent variable, and then tilde, that is the symbol, 
and then vision plus sign and then development. Now these are the two independent variables now. So if you've got more than one independent variable, you simply separate it by the plus sign and then show the data. Now simply run it. Again, store it. Summary. And then retrieve the summary by just writing in sum. And you can put in these results in Excel file as well. Or if you want a particular detail from your summary, you can use sum and then put in the dollar sign. And what do you want? You can have R square, adjusted R square, F statistics and other details as well. For example, I need the R square value. So here it is, the R square value. And you can write the results to the library. Now just call in this library, open Excel SX. If it's not installed, please install it by simply going into the tools, install packages or install.packages and just write in this name. Now, how do we write it? Just run it. And let's see if we got it there. Regression results. Now here are your regression results. Obviously not all results are there, so you will have to refer back to the output here as well that you get from summary. Because this summary function retrieves the results from this model and put it in this object. So this is how you can use linear regression analysis in R. In the next session, we are going to look into how to report the linear regression results from R. Thank you very much.